the team I trust in the NFC the most are the 49ers. I do. Did I buy into the Dallas Cowboys sauce a bit? Yeah, I did. I hope a moment would have happened. I was wishing it for, for it to happen. But no doubt the logical side of me thought the Niners were going to win that game. Looking at this Eagles and 49ers game, the last time Brock Purdy and Jalen Hurts faced off was in college. They both had amazing Virtuoso. games. Hurts won 42 to 41. Yep. When I look at the Niners, they're great at defending the run against 11 personnel and 21 personnel, and that is three wide receiver sets and two wide receiver and two running back sets. They allow 3.2 yards per carry in each personnel grouping. And the Eagles' rushing defense ranks 24th in yards per carry, 21st in DVOA, 23rd in EPA per play, 24th in success rate, and 22nd in adjusted line yards. The Eagles have a great pass rush, but their defensive line against the run is vulnerable, and that's mostly due to their linebackers. Their linebackers aren't that great. That's the biggest weak spot in the middle of the field. Those linebackers covering that part. And the 49ers love to attack the middle of the field. The Packers early in the season had 300-plus rushing yards against the Philadelphia Eagles. And in the games where the Eagles' rush defense did better than expected, it were games where they had no offensive weapons to worry about. The Giants last week. All you got to do is worry about the run because you're not worried about Daniel Jones. You know he's not good enough to beat you. And the wide receivers, they can't, they're can't. they not that good Thank either. You. Thank you. Can, can we acknowledge what it actually was? I just feel like for the Eagles, this is going to be such a sharp turnaround. You go from facing the Giants, who are not very good, whose linebackers are, linebacker core is one of the worst in the league. You had Gerard Davis on for you, a guy who got cut at the end of the season from the Lions. You had a Extra. player who got cut from your team starting for you in the playoffs to now, you got to go up against Fred Warner. You got to go up against Dre Greenlaw. You got to go up against that defensive line. You got to go up against that secondary, those run stopper, Tylenol, who find a missile. It's going to be a sharp turnaround. And for me, you I just me feel like it's going to be difficult. And Brock Purdy, <laughs> I think Kyle Shanahan reminds, of the, reminds him of this every time. Don't try to do too much. Don't try to do too much. To this point, He's been composed. He's been poised. He's shown me all the evidence in the world that he can be composed in a moment like this, going to Lincoln Financial Field, facing the Philadelphia Eagles on the road. And this team is well coached, one of the, one of the best coached football teams in the league. And the fact that the Eagles are vulnerable against the run, and that is Shanahan's bread and butter, it just feels like I'm going to butter up some toast for this game. It's going to be the Niners. And listen, <laughs> Brock Purdy, I may dislike the narratives around him that get spewed because I do think it's a bit over the top. I admire this guy's story. Enough, enough, and enough, enough. You know what I told myself I'm earlier? Now, now I'm fed I up. I told now myself I'm fed earlier up. this. Now I'm fed up. I said, if Jimmy Garoppolo was playing instead of Brock, would I take the Niners? I said, yes. Well, Brock Purdy does what Jimmy G does. Except and he's more mobile. He's been better. You know what? I'm going to take Brock Purdy. So it's I'm taking the 49ers this game. I'm riding with them. And it's going to be a Chiefs 49ers Super Bowl. Rematch. We're going to witness it rematch. And huh, I hope Purdy Mania gets stopped there. Oh, my God, my homes. <laughs> Dude, let me ask the, the Eagles guys because I'm assuming I know where you guys are going. Um, is N'Kobe Dean and Jordan Davis making their playoff debut? Because I was trying to find and I wasn't able to really find Kobe a concrete. Kobe hasn't played like all season. No, though. for sure. I know. Dean, Dean's, I mean, yeah. It's not good. It's just not good. No, for sure. But mostly the more important question is Jordan Davis. I could try to find something. but Because the rush defense is significantly different from when Jordan Davis plays to when he doesn't well, play, which is why I'm curious. I saw him warming up a couple impactful. days ago. Um, I'll, I'll, do you guys, do the Eagles guys want to go? I just. Just, I'll let you go. Just a quick question. Who, who's, who has a better defense, uh, Dallas or the Niners? Niners the Niners by far. Niners by far, right. Just wanted to make sure. Um, this is a tough matchup because you, you mentioned it. The, the Niners are one of the best rush, the run offenses in the league. They have CMC. You know, they have a lot of gadget plays, trickery mm -hmm. plays with Debo. So it's it's going to be a tough matchup. You know, the, to beat the Eagles, the game plan is limit the turnovers, control the clock, run the ball. The Niners can do that with the best of them. So I think that is a matchup in itself. But you mentioned it. You said um, you said something that was very important. You you said 
a lot of the times, something like the the one times that they couldn't do it is because we played like we played no receivers. Like teams that we played were against receivers. Well, I, I'm gonna be honest with you. I trust our cornerbacks in this game very much. I trust Bradbury. I trust Darius Slay. We have one of the best pass defenses in the league. I trust them to definitely get it done against Debo, against Ayuk, against Kittle. You know, we if anything, if anybody's gonna stop them, I think we have the matchups for it. Offensively, I think with Jalen Hurts. With Miles Sanders, you know, with our ability to run, we have a three running back system that is very, very key and very important. And with our ability to run with that offensive line, that could be dangerous. A.J. Brown, Devonta Smith, ability to take it over the top, Dallas. We just are just as complete as the Niners to a degree. And we have the better quarterback. So with that being said, I mean, I think this is going to be a dogfight. I don't see a shootout. I think this is going to be a very close, close game. And this is the game for me that really puts Jalen Hurts in that franchise tag. And for me, I'm picking the Eagles because I think he will come to play. He will show out. He will have his performance that we needed to see for him to really get that tag. With you. And I got the Eagles winning this one. All right, fair enough. Um, so for me, a lot of my analysis is going to stem from what I saw against the Niners and Dallas, where in that situation, Dak Prescott plays okay. They win the game. Dak Prescott plays good. Cowboys could have could have won kind of comfortably. It was a 19-12 to 12 game. It was right within reach, but the offense simply did not come to play. The defense was stellar, and the conversation of whether you take Dallas' defense over Philadelphia's, if you want to take Dallas, understandable, but Philadelphia's defense, definitely no pushover. You mentioned the, run, the rush defense and how it's definitely not up to par. I will say that it is in correlation with Jordan Davis not being healthy. Jordan Davis did play against the Giants, so I'm assuming he is expected to play again against the Niners, and that's going to be crucial. Because without a doubt, CMC. I don't know is, if he played. Sorry to cut you off. He did play. He did. I was mm-hmm. looking at he his. Didn't play much. Though. I was looking at his snaps, uh, and I don't stand on PFF. All right, good to know. Either which way, I'm pretty sure he's supposed to suit up. I saw people in the chat saying that he big, did suit up. Big. If he no, suits you need up. no. Jordan Davis is huge because of what he means in the rush game. Absolutely, uh, in the run defense. Excuse me. Um, but ultimately, I look at that Niners game against Dallas, and I see that this was probably the most. Average we saw Brock Purdy, where there was moments where Brock Purdy was making some from some very strong throws, some clutch throws on, on third down, but he wasn't scrambling as much because the Cowboys kind of had it figured out. They kind of made him the most uncomfortable we've seen Brock. In this situation now, I look at the Eagles against the Niners, and I know that the Eagles' offense is unstoppable. The number one NFC offense this year going against the number one defense in the Niners for sure. And I see people mentioning that the Eagles had a cupcake schedule. Go look at San Fran. They also had a cupcake schedule for being completely transparent. It's just that these two teams... Oh, I actually have a stat about that. These two teams are just simply levels above the rest. And they've been dominant all year long. And now this is finally these two meeting their match. And what it comes down to is I firmly believe the Eagles offense is better than than the Niners' offense. And this Eagles' defense, go ahead, Riv. Sorry, yeah, uh, i seen this. Uh, somebody tweeted, the Eagles haven't beaten anybody good. With the win over the Giants, the Eagles have the second-best win percentage against teams with a winning record since 2000. So I've seen that I mean, earlier. say what you want to say. The Eagles just win. They handle whoever they play. They, they see them. They knock them down. And listen, you could say it very blatantly. Last week, I counted them out because I, I was riding high on the Giants. But definitely, you understood that they were the better team. I felt the storyline. But they are definitely, on both sides, the more dominant team. In this scenario, on offense, I firmly believe they will be better than the Niners because Jalen Hurts is a notch, significant notch, above Brock Purdy. What Brock Purdy has done up until this point deserves nothing but acknowledgement and respect. I am I am very happy for, for what he's been able to accomplish in this short amount of time to outperform the quarterback before you that had had NFL success. To do that as the last pick in the NFL draft is a testament to him, and I want to give him nothing but praise. But there is nothing wrong with going against the Philadelphia Eagles who have been consistently the best team in the NFL all year long and going up there into Philadelphia and losing that game. I do have the Eagles winning this game. I believe they are the more complete team, and I know that this offense will show up. You told me you weren't going making these picks off narrative anymore. I thought that was over. Got him. Are you guys all picking the Eagles? Because I'm just confused because you can make the argument, Jalen Hurts, it's not the Giants' defense. It's the best defense in football. You can make the argument for Brock Purdy. He has to go on the road into Philadelphia 
and the toughest environment he has ever played in his life. It's going to be in shitty the out there in a playoff game going up against a top-notch defense as well. Brock Purdy has been great. He's played two games on the road in his career. Two games. And one of those games was against Seattle. Barely got out of it. And the other game was against, let me see here, uh, the, the, the Raiders. Yeah, the Raiders was. game, which was, you know, obviously one of the most shocking games good. of the season. Game. Um, so while you could say, you know, Jalen Hurts, he hasn't played this defense, la da you could say the same thing about Brock Purdy going up against this defense sure. on the road. It's going to be something. Got to remember, that first half against Seattle, he wasn't great. And this game against Dallas, for the most part, he wasn't great. He made some plays for sure, but mm-hmm. you got to think, his playmakers made some plays too. George Kittle is probably one of My two God. or three tight ends in the league that can make that type of play no that got him, obviously, one of their biggest gains on the season. This game is fun because the AFC and NFC are just complete opposites of each other. So the true. AFC, we have the two top 10 draft picks. We have Mahomes and Burrow, without Better a doubt, teams, top teams. two quarterbacks in the league. And on the NFC, you have the two guys that were overlooked. You have literally the last pick in the draft and Jalen Hurts, who was a second-round pick. He had to sit for the first 13 weeks of the season, 14 weeks, until he got opportunity with Carson Wentz. He starts year two, goes to the playoffs. People still doubt him. And now he's here leading one of the best offenses in football, going to be a top three MVP candidate. And you have Brock Purdy, who's making a push to be the franchise quarterback of the San Francisco 49ers after being the last pick in the draft. These rosters match up. This isn't a talent disparity like we've seen in recent weeks, whether it's the uh, uh, Eagles and Giants or the Chiefs and Jaguars. These teams match up. You have all pros everywhere. You have future Hall of Famers everywhere on both of these teams. It really is an all-star game. I mean, you have some of... Across the across the board, if you want to make an all star team, you could probably put together the best team in football <laughs> just with these two teams alone. Everyone else can make their own roster, and you probably have that argument. But I really do think the 49ers to this point have gotten a little bit lucky. They oh. played Geno Smith, they played Dak Prescott. <laughs> now they get to play Jalen Hurts. Now they get to play a top tier quarterback on a top tier nah, offense. He just disrespected. He crazy. just went crazy. It's, 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 fucking face Daniel Jones and no, the Giants. It's no disrespect to the it's no disrespect to the 49ers, he just but crazy. What? I think I he think cooked. this is where I think this is where it stops for cook? the 49ers, man. I think this is where it he stops. Cooked. He cooked. I don't think cooked. I'm surprising anyone would not go with my pick. No, no. It's no, the Philly no, Philadelphia. No, it was what you said. No, we knew it's your the pick. Eagles. Yeah. But that was a strong statement. Niners got lucky. Cuz when I told you I told you last week that the Niners really haven't faced anyone except the Chiefs, who the Chiefs absolutely lit them up, and against the that Raiders, who definitely the Dolphins. Is that not, I was going to say t- not no, that? for sure. But you told me that you didn't you didn't count that one because Tua didn't have a, a great game in your opinion, even though he was one of three quarterbacks against San Francisco's defense to put up two fifty and two touchdowns. The other one was Jarrett Stidham, they which are, is why I believe that Jalen Hurts will have not a problem they are playing scoring an on elite them. quarterback, an elite offense, mm. an elite scheme with elite weapons. I won't say they've gotten lucky. That's a strong wait, wait, wait. statement. What you just say? He said everything's elite for the top to bottom for, for the, the Eagles, Eagles. offensively. Everything. Same everything's for the elite. Niners, except quarterback. Ooh. Okay. Except I mean, quarterback. At this point. Purdy has been producing at that level. Enough! So the enough! Offense, enough! 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 I can't hear this. I can't hear this. The Ooh. offense has been producing at a great level. Oh, at I know. Level. Oh, I know. What does that you mean? You don't have to tell me. <laughs> you don't have to tell me that. That doesn't I mean agree. I think Brock Purdy's elite. But, but you, you have, the way you're but you off, have to. Like, the thing here in this it's, scenario, it's, football is eleven men. It's not just one. The person. thing is, in this scenario right now, you have no choice but to defend Brock Purdy. You have no choice. He just said. That the Eagles are leading every everywhere. They are, and, the, and he said that quarterback the and not a quarterback. Are. The Eagle for one, if we want to go position group by position group, the 49ers are better than the Eagles. They are in secondary. Who's better? So the Niners, given their safeties, yes. Given close, their safety, Where, wherever you go, it's going to be Jimmy close. Ward, O-line, Tarverius Ward, O-line Slay Eagle. And, and, and Bradbury. Okay, who's your safety? Can you name them? Can you name, them? name two? Name two. They have the uh, safeties. Yeah. For the, for the Gardner, NFC Championship team. They have Gardner team. Johnson. Gardner Johnson, who Thank literally you. led the league in interceptions. Okay. And Is he better than who found Jimmy Ward? No, he's no, not. No, Gardner's been really good, though. Yeah, he's been phenomenal. But now, It's close. Gardner Johnson was a good pickup for them in the offseason. First off, let's start with offense. Isn't it a bigger deal we're doing Jalen Hurts versus Brock Purdy or safety versus safety? What's going to make a bigger impact? A quarterback doesn't face a quarterback in the playoffs. But what's going to be a bigger impact? Talking We're gap. talking about disparities the Eagles, on the team. The Eagles have a legitimate weakness on defense.